Hey, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you today in Microsoft Excel how to save a filter and also how to do custom views. And if you want to know what I have coming up next week, uh, today is the 28th of October. So here's my schedule for next week. I'm going to discuss Excel functions that HR people should know. And then I'm also going to do Google's uh, Hangouts Meet. And then I'll also do on Friday of next week. I'm not sure, but here we go. In Microsoft Excel, on this worksheet, if you notice, if I scroll down, I have a total of 35 customers because row one's the header row. If you want to create what's called a custom view and you want to save a filter, by default filters cannot be saved. But you can use Excel's custom view to do it. So here we go. I'm going to go to the data tab, turn on filter, and I'm responsible for everyone in California and Kansas. So let's just show California and Kansas. And we're down to 15 of 35 records in the bottom left. I want to save this view. So I'm going to go to the word view, custom views, which is over in the group called workbook views. And I'm going to add a new one. I'm going to click on, notice right here it says it's going to save my filter settings. So I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to go back to the word data. I'm going to clear, I'm going to turn off my filters. So the next time I need to pull up that filter quickly without using drop down arrows, drop down arrows. I only did two, but you know, if you use Excel, you could be using six or seven drop downs. Just go to view, custom view, show. Done. That easy. So there is a custom view on how to save a filter. Let me show you another custom view. I'm going to swap worksheets and go to CV2 at the bottom. Same information, organized just a little bit differently. I've got 35 rows again. If I go to File, Print, in the bottom is page 1 of 2, so let's go look at page 2. So page two only has four records on it. If you also notice, I'm going to go back to page one, I don't have any grid lines showing. So let me go back. I'm going to first go to page layout, open up page setup dialog box. And it doesn't matter how you change this page setup. If you wanted to go to file, print, page setup, you could. I'm going to say fit to one by one. And on the Sheet tab, I'm going to select Grid Lines. Click OK. Uh, let me go to File Print to show you real quick how it looks. It should be one page with grid lines, and it is. But here I go again. View, Custom Views, Add. It helps if I can spell. You can name this whatever you want to, but this time I want you to notice it says it includes print settings, which is what I just did. I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to go back to page layout, back to the dialog box. We'll make this 100%. I'm going to turn off the grid lines. I'm going to hit print preview to show you this. So it's back the way it initially was. So let me go back. And I always want to print it in that one format that I had with grid lines. So let's go view, custom views, show. It looks like nothing happened, but it just applied all my print settings to this. Let's go test it. File, print. File, print. There we go. Page one of one. And it has grid lines. So that is how you use custom views. So I showed you how to create a custom view, and then after you create it, when you go to view, that's when you're, that's applying it when you click one and hit show. One last item about custom views, if you need to delete one, custom views, click the one you don't want, click delete, click yes. <clears throat> now, I want to talk about this one last time. I'm going to the next worksheet, CV3. If... 
Notice it says custom views here. If you change your list or your data range to a table, custom views are not available. So I'm going to do control T to change this to a table. Table has headers, hit OK. View. Custom views will be unavailable if you do a table because you already have your filter arrows going. But the problem is you can't save this if I say I just want to see people in Wichita. I don't have Wichita here. Uh, New York. I can't save this. I just got to come back and do it because it's a table. Hopefully that helps. Thank you for your time. Look forward to showing you some more videos next week.